All right, so the select statement as a default, it will not remove any duplicates from the results. So sometimes you might be in a situation where you have some duplicates inside your tables and you want to remove them from the results. So removing duplicates from results, not from table. In order to do that, to remove those duplicates, we use in the select statement a keyword called distinct. So in order to understand that, let's have the following tasks. List all countries of all customers without duplicates. All right, so now let's try to figure out how we're gonna solve this task. As we can see, we need the customers. That means we're gonna focus on the table customers and we need all the countries. That means we need only one column called country. So let's do a basic query. We're gonna start always with select and the column that we need called country. So we're gonna write down country. Then from our table is customers. So now let's just check whether there is any duplicates and see the results. So execute. And now we can see the results. Germany, USA, UK, Germany, USA. As you can see, there is duplicates. We have Germany twice, and as well the same, we have USA twice. So now the task is saying without having any duplicates. So in order to solve that, we're gonna type distinct exactly after the select. So we're gonna use distinct over here. And this keyword always comes after select. And only by doing that, it's like magic word, it's gonna remove all the duplicates. So let's check that. So execute. As you can see, now the list contains only unique entries. We have Germany only once, USA as well, and UK as well. So here we have a unique list of all countries of all customers and we solve the task. All right, so now in order to understand distinct, I'm gonna show you how the database is implementing our query. So we said in our query, we need the data from customers. So the database is gonna focus on the table customers. And we said as well, we need only one column called country. So the database is gonna select it in the results. We said, okay, we need all data, but in distinct without having any duplicates. So the database is going to start. Okay, Germany, it's not in the results. It's going to put it there. USA, we don't have it in the results. It's going to put it there. UK, the same. We don't have it in the list. Going to put it. But now it comes to Germany again. It says, okay, we have it already. So it will not include it in the list. And same goes for USA. We have the USA already here. It will not include it in the list. And with that, we will have our unique list of all countries. All right, so that's all about the distinct. And next, we are going to learn how to sort our data using order by. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.